At this point, court staff and attorneys are not explaining what the issue is, but we do know there were several closed door meetings this morning and whatever the issue was, it couldn't be resolved today, so the jury was sent home. The courtroom sat empty as it appeared the defense tried to work through an issue they needed to resolve before moving forward with sentencing. The jury reported to the courthouse for the 9 a.m. hearing and were held here, hoping court would begin this afternoon. But after the lunch break, the judge finally took the bench and only gave this explanation for the delay. The court has been involved in, uh, for lack of a better term, a lot of stuff. Uh, that we've had to deal with this morning. I apologize to the jury for the delay, and I wish I had better news for you, but uh, I do not at the moment. Today was to begin the sentencing portion in this case after Worley was found guilty on all 19 charges last week in the murder of Sierra Joggin. Today, the jury was to hear from witnesses called by the defense testifying to Worley's past and character. The jury will use that testimony when deciding if Worley deserves to be sentenced to death or should face a life in prison term with the chance of parole after 25 or 30 years or no chance at all. Ultimately, it is the judge who will hand down the sentence, though considers the sentence the jury recommends. Now, I was in the courtroom this afternoon as the judge did deliver that news, and there was clear disappointment on the faces of not only the jury, but also Sierra's family, who has been through every single court hearing. Many of these people want to move on with their lives, and this is yet another delay. Court is expected to be back in session tomorrow at 830. Reporting from Fulton County, Michelle Zapata, WTOL 11.